sweetheart, I'm not worried about you being calm. You act like, hey, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm not upset. It's okay. I'm gonna whether you're upset or not. That dude, Doc hates this dude. Yeah. He I don't does. think we should go to Doctor Phil Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should stay away. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ken. This is Buff, and we're back with Doctor Phil. Oh, it's been so long. The knife hands. <laughs> Ooh, send him to the ranch. Let's go. Today, Dr. Phil is going to face the ultimate gamer. You say he won't help in the garden. She needs them, um, like, clipped a certain way. I've never learned that. Well, you're not going to learn it laying in bed gaming and playing with a lizard. How about just tell him, Connor, I don't enjoy that crap. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. <laughs> tell you what, Grandma, if you wanted a garden, go outside and deal with your garden. <laughs> That's your thing. That's do it, your Grandma. garden. <laughs> you to come in and clean my xbox he sits around all day playing video games not getting a job and Ooh. mowing the yard and oh the grandparents are hey had enough is it we got sent to dr phil is it me <laughs> <laughs> my, oh no <laughs> i feel i feel personally attacked right now connor needs a plan that will quote Get him off his ass so he can figure out how to be a real adult. Get, I, first of all, Dr. Phil's shoes are looking pretty, he's looking fancy. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, a little snazzy there, Doc. Yeah, looking good. All right, Dr. Phil's gonna get this guy a job. Is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> Connor spends most of his time gaming or video calling his girlfriend of five years. He's never met in person because that would involve Connor having to leave the house. He's just, in, he's just in quarantine. Yeah. He's quarantined. Yeah, this, this, this sounds like a conversation I'd have with like my grandparents or something. So you sit around all day and you play video games. You met your girlfriend on Facebook. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So, well, you, you need Dr. Phil. <laughs> what are you going to be a real human, a real man? <laughs> all right, Grandma. Ouch. Unfortunately, the extra interview parts we can't play because Sony will claim the audio of that for some reason. So we just, we're just going to mute it and I'm going to read it to you if there is anything juicy. Okay? Okay. My grandson, Connor, 22 years old, needs to get off his butt and learn how to become an adult. Connor spends anywhere from 12 to 17 hours a day gaming. He's incredible. He's incredibly late. I mean, he doesn't sound late. He's like he's got his work out. Hey, he does. He's got the system worked out here, you know? <laughs> I mean, usually when they talk about gaming, they talk about, oh, my son plays like, you know, three hours a day and we make fun of him because of rookie numbers. Yeah, right. Connor here is getting it done. That's right. Connor's doing it big. Yeah, he's 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 raiding World of Warcraft and he's <laughs> doing it. Hey, he's sweating. He's in the, he's sweating right now. You know he, what he, I mean? Look, look at his bed. That's where he's been sweating. <laughs> that spot right there. Got a big problem with Connor. It's hygiene. He, oh, no. He doesn't want to brush his teeth. He doesn't want to take a shower. Oh, never mind, Connor. You lost uh, his hair. Dang it, Connor. You were... I had your back, man. You Just know. take a shower. Yeah. We had your... We, we, were, we were rooting for you. You were the chosen one. But then you became, like... Whenever you go... Whenever you go to a convention... Yeah. And, they, and they have the Smash Brother tournament. Or the Magic... And the whole room just stinks. Yeah, you're that guy right now, yeah, Connor. That's the Connor right you're there. The Connor. Oh, that's what God. we're going to call it from now on, the Connor. Congrats. All you got to do is wash your butt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your teeth and wash your butt. How hard is that, Connor? <laughs> Next time I get to go somewhere, I get invited to go somewhere. I'll fly out and like, land, you know, <laughs> go to the convention. <sighs> oh, bunch of Connors. <laughs> He's 22 years old and doesn't know how to shave. He has no friends. Wait, 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 I mean. Come on, Grandma. Do you even love your grandson at this point? He's, he's got online friends. Or people he trolls. Yeah, at least. I mean, he at least knows how to like use the, the beard trimmer. Because if he didn't know how to shave, then we would know. Yeah, he didn't have a beard like this. Connor ain't got that. <laughs> Connor's probably sitting here watching this video right now being like, man. So jealous. Yeah. Facial hair. That's right. They just go leave a comment like some other people do on these. How do you grow a beard? <laughs> All right. Take your shaver, your razor, and hide it. <laughs> the Fall end. Away. The end. Done. <laughs> I've tried to push him into getting his GED. Connor says he can't retain any knowledge. He's amazing with comic books. But schoolwork, Connor can't do. 
because he, he doesn't care about school. Like he yeah. cares about comic book. It's, it's yeah. I, I've used this excuse in my life before. Oh, I can't do it because I don't care to do it. You know, yeah. that makes sense. He'll want to do it eventually. Yeah, when he's like thirty and needs to do it, <sighs> and should have already done it. When it's too late. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I know several Connors. Like I feel like I, I, feel like I met this dude. Uh, yeah. Did he work? He worked for a drugstore and got fired because he used his personal ID for buying somebody alcohol at the at the drugstore. I don't think Grandma knows what's going on here. I, uh, <laughs> uh, let me get some penicillin and some Bud Light. <laughs> Connor is taking after my daughter, Jamie. Jamie's lazy. Jamie sleeps a lot. Jamie games too. I've reached my breaking point with Connor. I can't, I can't even. My daughter, my grandson. Uh, Dr. Phil's gonna... He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Doc, she threw the alley up for herself. Yeah. And Dr. Phil's looking at her in the eyeball right now, and he's in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it coming. Like, Grandma, ooh. <laughs> You seem to be the common denominator here of problem with the kids. Uh. What's your attitude going into 2021? Most people that make resolutions, 92% fail by mid-February. <laughs> Dr. Phil just knife hand on us! <laughs> <laughs> he just came straight at me. He's like, hey, what are you doing out there? <laughs> are you another statistic? 92%? Bam, bam, bam! Uh. Is it, is it February yet? Jeez. Uh, better, better, ooh, God, better get on it. Dr. Phil's coming after. I, wow. I thought he was going after Grandma, and then he came straight after us. Yeah, dude, I was like right at my neck level right there. He was just like, ooh. He's still, he, he's still sitting over there. Just like, yeah. <laughs> better watch out. Jeez, Doc. Jamie says her mom's treatment of her son, Connor, is hauntingly familiar to how she treated Jamie from childhood to this day. Oh, yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, everybody's everybody's pointing fingers here. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Turn it off. Let's okay. flip the script on Grandma. Right. <laughs> Growing up, when we would ask Connor to do more chores, like washing the dishes, he would say, "Well, I already took out the garbage. So, Mom, why don't you do something? You're also lazy, right? <laughs> yeah. do, do you need me to do everything? I don't know. Come on. Mm. I'm keeping a tally here. <laughs> the majority of Connor's issues." right now does come from my mom's parenting. My mom's parenting style is a dysfunctional technique that she used on me. Well, I mean, who who raised Connor for 21 years? Oh, it's obviously grandma's fault. Right. Like, all that teaching went out the window when he moved in with grandma. Right, yeah, grand, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where, where's Connor's story at? I feel we That's what I wanna know. Connor, where are you at? <laughs> Can you come out of your room, you lazy piece of trash? <laughs> Playing your video games. Like, like, even moms, even his mom's whole story was just like, my son's garbage, 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 garbage. And then my mom treats him like garbage. It's so bad. Oh my God. It's yeah, all her. But I'm such a good parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I shouldn't have life figured out. She likes to control my life. It's hard. It's so hard. I leave the bagels out and I get nagged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my life. I, I left the bagels out and she didn't like it. Oh. Uh, now, the question is if those were bagel bites or not, because mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. No, nah, they're bagel bites. You're ruining them. bagel bites. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't shut my brain off because I'm playing video games. This room's so clean. It, it really is. Did Grandma clean this room for him? He doesn't seem as much of a slob as they make him out to be. Yeah, where's that other bed they keep taking pictures of? That's I like... can't see the funk cloud. That's weird. Yeah. Is he asleep right there? This isn't even the same room. It's not. They're, they are creating a bus to throw this man under right Yeah, now. they are. <laughs> Open the closet up. See this? This is where <laughs> Connor does his thing. <laughs> <laughs> he never leaves me. Yeah, my mother's toxic. Uh, he's a bit of a god complex. I need to talk to Dr. Phil because I don't want to be homeless. I'm not really seeking help. If I don't even kick out of my house. I have to come to Dr. Phil. Okay. Man, all three of these people just... I know. ...are just full of excuses. The, yeah. the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay. <laughs> Doc's face says it all right here. Yeah, like, oh. he's like, okay. And these people have, like, literally no problems at all. They're just making mountains out of molehills. Mole all right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I imagine the way this is going to go is Connor, you know, just put forth a little effort. Grandma... Stop enabling him. Mom, shut up. Okay, Connor, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah? Oh my God. I just can't even. Like, I want to be on Connor's side, but I just look at him. 
See, Connor, I know a thing about hairline, a thing or two about like high hairlines. The longer your hair is, the worse it looks. You know? Yeah. It looks like you're actually bald and you just kind of try to cover it up with your bangs, but you couldn't like, you didn't have enough bangs to cover up this part of your head. <laughs> you had to choose. You had to pick and choose one side <laughs> and you chose one. The other side feels a little betrayed. It's fine. Yeah. So that's when you got to do something with that eyebrow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Brush that one back. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe get a little piercing right there, a tattoo on your face. <laughs> maybe wear a headband like LeBron. You're living with your grandmother. Correct. And you're 22. Why are you living with your grandmother instead of on your own? Why are you not a contributing member of society? Uh, uh, Nice. Everybody's everybody's, everybody's big booming here. Ouch. Like the most boomer I've ever ever heard this this show go. What are you doing living with your parents and grandparents instead of getting out, getting a job, getting on your own? What the hell are you doing? That's super boom. Yeah, why? When, when did Dr. Phil become such a boomer? Yeah. Usually, they ha- he has this conversation and looks at the parents and like, why are you still letting them live with you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's coming. I don't know. Maybe. They're, they're, really, uh, they're, really, they're really, really picking on Connor I mean, so far. It's over here like, know. so we're in a pandemic. Why are you living with your grandparents? I mean, you know, four years ago, there wasn't a pandemic. <laughs> 18, dude. What? what? <laughs> just, just tell them, 17. Connor. 17. I'm living with my grandma because they, they're letting me. <laughs> yeah. You say he won't help in the garden. She needs them um, like clipped a certain way. I've never learned that. Well, you're not going to learn it laying in bed gaming and playing with a lizard. How about just tell him, Connor, I don't enjoy that crap. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> tell you what, Grandma, if you want a garden, go outside and deal with your garden. Yeah, that's your thing. That's do it, your Grandma. garden. I don't ask you to come in and clean my Xbox. You know, don't get in a farm for me, Grandma. I'll do it. <laughs> like, okay, I, I agree that if you're, you're living with someone, you know, your grandma, and they ask you to do some chores, sure, yeah, yeah, you, absolutely, you, do, you know, clean yourself up, yeah, do all that stuff. But like, I don't know, they're really focused on this garden thing. Or like, my my grandma would never want me to touch her garden. You know? <laughs> that'd be like off limits. Well, yeah, well, it's my grandma's thing. Yeah, that's where she goes out and she has her fun. That is my grandma's fun. <laughs> of course, I'd help if she ever needed help. But like, you know, I don't think I've ever heard Dr. Phil sound like such a grandpa as he does in this one. I mean, it's, it's hard to like laugh and joke when it just like, it just feels like you're just watching someone get bullied on national television. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, not good. It's just, this just feels weird, but uh, let's, uh, maybe it turns around. I don't know. We'll see. You have an excuse for everything. No, I am not making excuses. Yes, you are. You can say what you want, but I'm not making well, excuses. Okay. Here's a list of your excuses. Wow. Oh man. Wow. I feel like I've heard my, my, my granddad actually say that before. <laughs> Dude! Man. Like, I, no, I feel what, it, what Connor's even saying right there. It's like, yo, grandma says, hey, do this exact thing to this garden. Cool. I, I, I know what you want now. I can do that. But it's just like, he doesn't just get out of his bed and go enjoy my garden. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, well, here, here's a list of Connor's excuses. Maybe this will shine some light on... Uh, you know, give give us some insight that we are obviously missing because <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Help me. <laughs> Help me understand. You said your boss wanted to rehire you after COVID, so you're waiting for to be rehired. Not after COVID, after the six months termination was ended. You know, the, the job yeah. one sounds like an excuse. That one does. Yeah, well, let's go through the list ourselves because okay, so yeah. the no job, right? Waiting for rehire. Yeah, whatever. Uh it's <laughs> the no driver's license scared. Like I said, it sounded like his like his parents like died in like a or his dad died in an accident or something. You can leave that one alone. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's his own thing, right? There's some, there's some trauma there. No GD, poor memory, doubt. Uh, yeah. no, <laughs> doubt. <laughs> no hygiene, covers up the deodorant, gross. <laughs> <laughs> gaming therapy. Uh, I mean, gaming is an escape. I use it as yeah, a game myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that, that one. one. Never met girlfriend. Money problems. Uh, well, I mean, I, I get that one too. Yeah, but if if, sort you, of. if you've been dating her for five years, you you would probably meet at some point, you yeah, know. And well, like, I mean, you, you, eventually you you come across three hundred bucks for a round trip plane ticket. Right, you know? right, right. right. <laughs> uh, sleep till noon. Night out. Look, I sleep till noon. I'm a night out too. I get it. And one of my things I always thought when I was when I was growing up is like my parents always get so mad because I'd sleep late. 
Back. I stayed up late. You know, I still slept the same amount of time you did. Yeah, well, what <laughs> Just in need? a different time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do you need me awake for five hours before any store opens? <laughs> you just need me to like, just sit here and like look at you? I don't know. <laughs> Can't garden. No one taught me. Ah, there's YouTube videos. You know, that, that's yeah. you, know, you just don't. I, you, yeah. you don't like the garden. Yeah, you just don't I, like it. I don't either. Let's just be, say it. Let's just be honest. Yeah, you I don't want to pull your weeds, Grandma. <laughs> the, the only thing I can take away so far from what we've seen is if Connor just like developed a little bit of a backbone right now, then uh, he probably wouldn't be on Dr. Phil. He'd just be like, he would just be, this would just be his mugshot instead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, they get the life coach out here next to talk right. to talk to old dude. We, we, old life coach, he's a good dude. Maybe he'll talk some sense. Who's he going at? Uh, he's he's got to go with Connor, I guess, yeah, at this point. Yeah, yeah. Who else is they going to go after? <laughs> Doc's on everyone else's side. Yeah. Connor, I'm Coach Mike. Hello, Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Sounds like you've been uh, stuck for quite a while, yeah? Okay, well, anyway, that was... Okay, put your mask on. You put your mask on. Walk into the room. Then now take, take your off. masks off. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. This table's 300 feet long. <laughs> Just yell across there. The same people that like when they try to talk to you, pull their mask down or something. It's like, okay, why did you even have it? Okay, yeah, anyway. Why you have it? All right. Yeah, just sorry. It's yeah. <laughs> mind blowing right here. You're 22. I'm just curious, like why you wouldn't be able to get a job yet to be able to be self-supporting. You know, I, I like how this dude, this dude does it a lot better than, uh, yeah, you're lazy. You suck. He's like, okay, if yeah. you want these things, then... Why, you know, what's keeping you from working towards them? Yeah, yeah I got the life coach out here. Thank the Lord. <sighs> Saved. When I was 22, you know, I finally made that that amount of money. I was just like, oh, nice. I still needed a roommate. To yeah, pay the yeah bills. exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't well, know, man. Th This is like, uh, this is the most boomer episode of Dr. Phil ever seen. It really is. It's like, oh, you can't, <laughs> why don't you go get your own apartment on... <laughs> <laughs> the, the minimum wage that you're going to be making. Yeah, exactly. Because no one's going to pay you that because you are 22. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave grandma's house either, man. A lot of it has to do because of the pandemic. Everybody's getting laid off from their yeah. jobs and they have GDs, oh master's degree. <laughs> Ding! Excuse. They even got the excuse <laughs> counter. Oh my God. <laughs> if you sleep until about what time? Noonish. And the reason for that is? I'm more of a night owl. What I'm seeing is he doesn't wake up early because he's a night owl. Excuse. Oh, man. What? He's created so many walls of excuses and he just has a really hard time getting honest. So I know the world isn't easy. That's why I get so mad and frustrated with her because she wants me to get a job. Get out and go see it, man. And you'll actually enjoy some of that stuff. And you'll find out what you like. You'll actually find groups of people who enjoy the same things as you. And you'll like going to go do that stuff, dude. Like, I mean, I get gaming. <laughs> I had done it. Do it still. God, I almost feel like for this video to even be like really funny, we would have, we would have had to just make fun of him the whole time. Yeah, and I can't. Yeah, I can't either. I can't because and I see a piece of me in him. I know we do. <laughs> see some of me in him. I am a Connor. Oh my God, I'm that guy. I'm a Connor too. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not saying all that dumb stuff that he just said about yeah, no, seeing I mean, the world or I something. I would just be honest. Like, I don't want to do that junk, dude. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play games. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, life coach, come, <laughs> come vouch for me on this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a, you got a job or something? Be the, credit, not, the credit line guy, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Sweetheart, Whoa. I'm not worried about you being calm. You act oh. like, hey, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm not upset. It's okay. I'm going to whether you're upset or not. That dude, Doc hates this dude. Yeah. He I don't does. think we should go to Dr. Phil, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should stay away. I want you to look back on this experience where you came on my show on national TV and I had everyone gang up on you for tough love and just made you even more depressed. I dumped on you in front of the entire nation. You got a couple of laughs in the crowd? Heck yeah. <laughs> I was trying to be all sassy, but this came out pretty cringe. <laughs> my job is to get you moving. You're lazy. You make excuses. You sit on your butt and game all day. Yeah, Dr. Phil, we're gonna get a job right now. You did, I'm cured, I'm cured. <laughs> oh my God, I'm moving out of grandma's house. Goodbye, grandma, Mwah. I'm coming, girlfriend. Here I, oh my God. Wow, thanks, Doc. Uh... <laughs> yeah, humiliation does not cure depression. Thank you, thanks, Michael comments. Boyle. Jesus, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, but that was probably the worst episode of Dr. Phil we've ever watched. <laughs> that was absolute I, yeah, trash. I'm, 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 I'm not happy.
happy right now. <laughs> I'm actually disappointed. I feel like if somebody was to mug him on it, you know what I'm saying, just randomly out in the world would have a bigger bigger impact on him than Dr. Phil right here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I have no idea. Dude, this is crazy. Well, I, that's probably why there's no more clips of this episode because they just didn't. Because <laughs> the crowd left was just like, geez. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Wow. Come on. Well, we, we appreciate you. Uh, we'll try to find better Dr. F. Phil episodes next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Maybe <laughs> maybe we need to get like some super like rich girls on there again because he does better with those than uh Yeah. <laughs> oh anyway. See you guys next time. Stay tuned to my friends. Today's your birthday, your birthday. I love you.